In this video, we're going to be looking at the different parts of the bones on the maxilla and the mandible. So starting with the maxilla, so the first or the only set of holes on there, it's going to be these set of holes that are located underneath the orbital region. So these are both called the infraorbital foramen. If you remember, we had some set of holes and foramen above called the supraorbital foramen or notch. So we're also going to have some below, infraorbital. Something to keep in mind is these are always going to be a fully intact hole, so you'll have the ending of foramen for these. For the supraorbital, you could call that the supraorbital foramen or the supraorbital notch. Okay, then looking at around the area of the teeth, okay, there's going to be what's called the alveolar margin or alveolar process. You could use either term to describe this. Technically, the process is going to be the point that's sticking down between the teeth, kind of pointing a little bit more, and then the uh, margin or the border is going to be this flatter surface along the teeth. Okay, so you could use either term there. Main thing to know is this alveolar. Keep in mind there's an L there, alveolar process or margin. You're also going to have the same structure on the mandible as well. So the portion of the bone found between the teeth is the alveolar process and then underneath is the margin or the border. So the same term can be applied on the maxilla as well as the mandible. So if we remove the mandible, this is going to be able to allow us to see the palatine process. Okay, that's going to be on the palate. So we have this part of the maxilla where uh, the roof of your mouth okay, is forming the palatine process. And then behind there, posterior, is the individual bone of the palatine bone. You can see like a thin line between there. Okay, so you have the palatine bone and then the part of the maxilla is the palatine process. Okay, so that's what you need to know on the maxilla. So then looking at the mandible, okay, so the different parts of the mandible, so this whole region here extending up is called the ramus, see there, you have that on either side, the ramus, and then where all of the teeth are located is referred to as the body of the mandible, okay, so you have the body of the mandible, where the teeth are inserted, uh, the junction of those, this point is called the angle of the mandible, you probably feel that on the lower portion of your jaw, so we have the angle, and again, we have the alveolar process or alveolar uh, margin. Uh, we have a set of holes on the man, or sorry, the mandible uh, right here, either side, the region of the chin is called the mental region. So these are the mental foramen. Okay, you have some nerves coming out through there. And then on the ramus, there's gonna be two processes to know. Okay, you have this more pointy one, and then you have this flatter one here. So the more pointy one is called the coronoid process. So we have coronoid, and then the one back here can have a couple different names. You could either say the mandibular condyle or the condylar process. Remember that term condyle means a smooth, flat surface that's going to be forming part of a joint, because okay? that condyle is going to sit within the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. So the coronoid is that more pointy one, and then the one behind, the posterior one, mandibular condyle condylar process is that flatter one back there. Okay, so those are the parts you need to know for the maxilla and the mandible.